the peeps. So, again, I'm trying to play catch up with a lot of stuff that I missed out. So, this is one, another one of the items that I bought uh, during the holidays that I was going to hopefully show in December, but of course, I got two wrapped up. This is a Brookstone and the same company that made that vacuum cleaner. <laughs> But this is a counting corn bank. Now, what would you ever do with it? Now, this is listed as 16 bucks and it, it was currently on sale for not 10 bucks, 9.99. Now, is it really worth it? We, we, we are about to find out. Now, I'm a true advocate for learning financial education in schools, which we do not have. Uh, too many kids get out of high school, go straight to college, in debt into their 50s or into their 30s uh, because the credit card companies love find, finding people to in debt and they're paying off their debts forever. I see this as a teaching tool for young kids. You know, go out, you know, take your pennies, your extra change, put it into a device and keep your change and then maybe you can open up a, a little savings account for them where you still have to sign on if they ever want to get the money out. So it's a simple product. It has a mason type jar. Uh, of course, cheap plastic, but you expect out of China. Um, so let's go ahead and open this because I'm assuming the batteries. Yep. And again, I'm going to have to go get my tools because again, they have the battery pack in here. So let me go ahead and take that out. I'll go get my tools again. And before I go grab my tools, let's go ahead and see what this uh, user manual says. This is a corn counting bank. One year limited warranty? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like anyone's really going to. And it looks like it takes two AA batteries. Uh, it's with the battery, replace the battery door, attach the lid, da 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 da. When changing battery, adult supervision is recommended. We recommend using alkaline battery for best performance. Okay, so let me go ahead and get my screwdriver so I can go ahead and remove the screw so we can go ahead and throw in some batteries. Right quick. Be right quick. Okay, since it recommends alkaline batteries, I was going to put my rechargeables in it, but I'm not going to because we're going to follow the, follow the instructions per the manufacturer. Okay. All right, there the compartment is. Oh, geez Louise. These are triple A's, not AA's. And so I am going to have to reuse rechargeables because I do not have any alkaline AA batteries. I'll be right. Okay, so put my Chinese batteries in here. Chinese recyclable batteries. Uh, <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Go ahead and uh, put the screw back in place. Voila! Okay, where's the jaw? And so, wow. Right now we have zero dollars. Nothing's in there. So let's try. Okay, it counted a penny. And I think it's counting it based off the size because there's a lot of tension on this. My tools just hit the floor. So I should say 26 cent, and it does. Hold on, folks, let me just pick this up. So, I don't have any dimes or nickels. 
51. So basically what it's doing is basically you, it has a high tension device or spring loaded under tension. It's basing the corn's value off the size of the corn from what I can tell. It's not actually saying, hey, it's not like the old corn mix that were in, uh, actually those old corn mix that were used to be in video machines and soda machines, uh, they based it off weight. It's a little hard to put this in here. There we go. So, now we got a dollar 30 cent in here. Now we have plus and minuses. Let's go see what the plus and minus is supposed to be. I'm assuming they are to correct any errors. Add corn button, subtract corn. Yep, that's exactly what it is. So. Oh, okay. So basically, if I put this quarter in, I can hit the negative and it should say a dollar five. And it doesn't. So maybe let's try holding it and putting it in. That doesn't work either. <laughs> let's read the instructions. Okay. Uh, use the bag as an air button for about two, three seconds until the heavy plates and then we'll use the button and then. Okay. So I actually need to hold this for a couple of seconds. Okay, the two are soft to blink. See, it's blinking. All right, let's do it again because it's found out. And let's put the corn in. And it still doesn't do it. So, uh, 205. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, I see how it works. You have to hold it until it blinks. And once it blinks, you can add it in increments of one. The instructions don't tell you that, but that's how it works. So, that was stupid. We're just going to reset this back to zero. And we'll just put the coins back in and reset it all the way back down. If you press and hold, it does it faster. So it's back down to zero. And one cent. Okay, so what do I think of this product? <laughs> There's no question in my mind that this was made in China. <laughs> no respect to Quality, there's no quality control here at all. It was made as cheaply as humanly possible uh, to, to do what it wants to do. Uh, again, the structures are a little vague, which is standard in a lot of Chinese products. Uh, they, uh, the, yeah. Uh, to these add and plus buttons, on to add and plus whatever coins you put in, it, you have to press and hold it two to five seconds. It starts blinking, press and hold it and it would decrease or increase based on the plus or minus one penny at a time. If you hold it, it would do it uh, much quicker. So that we know that, uh, is it worth 10 bucks? Yeah, I guess you could spend 10 bucks. 10 bucks is not a whole lot of money. You can use it to teach your kids how to save money, which I think is very important. Uh, to learn how to save money as young kids and what you learn as a child will uh, eventually move into your adulthood. Uh, a prime example that makes me really believe this is that I taught my son, uh, most people give their kids milk and water and juice during their, their childhood ages. Uh, I gave him water. Uh, he did get juice and milk sometimes, but uh, I also gave, I gave him water a lot. He drank a lot of water, and, and, and that water drinking moved into his adult life. He probably drinks more water than any other male child that I know or any other person I know. That boy would literally go through gallons of water as if it's nothing. And so what you teach your kid as a child 
will move into adulthood. So teaching them the value of money and hard work and saving, this would be a good tool to do because they can uh, plan on how to buy stuff instead of using credit and using credit only as a last ditch option or as an emergency option, unlike most Americans who live off credit cards and <laughs> pretty much wouldn't be able to survive if they didn't have credit cards. Uh, this would teach them how to learn. Uh, I didn't have this as a kid. I pretty much had to learn. I lived in, <laughs> when I grew up, I lived in the project, so <laughs> either you had the money or you didn't. And a lot of things I saved up for and got the things I wanted, um, compared to a lot of kids that I grew up with who said, I'm going to get one of those and and never did because they didn't, they weren't structured enough to want to save. And this is something that wasn't taught to me. I just learned it on myself, but instilling the value of money and how to save and how to invest is very important to children because it's going to help them in the long run, especially if they move out and go into college and the banks get a hold to them and want to put them in debt. <laughs> <laughs> Until next time, family, you take care of yourself and work from the world. Bye-bye.